the majority. When we finished, what was to be done was for the speaker to put the question. Now, we raised issues initially about proceeding. And as we heard the deputy majority, they said to the speaker that after putting the question and declaring the results, if a member wanted to challenge, he would have then to come with a challenge first. The member just got up and said that on account of order 1132, he's inviting the speaker to do a head count. That was all the challenge. So that was the issue the deputy leader raised. Then along the line, as we traveled, the speaker then said, well, um, he made a declaration, he expressed an opinion that he thought that the eyes had it. So the member could challenge it. You are all there. You are all there. You heard the speaker loud and clear. Why should a speaker beat such a hasty retreat from what he has said? He said to us that he thought, and I'm quoting him, that I think the eyes have it. That is how speakers make pronouncements and determination. I think the eyes have it. And if he's convinced and persuaded, then he will go further to say that the eyes have it. And maybe I think the nose have it. The nose have it. That's how it's done. Once you say the nose have it, then the determination has been made. In this case, he said, I think the eyes have it. The eyes have it. Then you have a speaker making a U-turn, a sudden U-turn to say that no, he didn't say, he didn't add that the eyes have it. He just expressed an opinion. You are all there, you heard him loud and clear. And that's most unfortunate. That's most, most unfortunate.